Hey there. Feeling a little out of the dating game? You're not alone. Maybe you've heard that women are more into older guys these days. There could be some truth to that. But listen up. Age isn't everything. It's more about the way you handle yourself. This video will show you seven skills that some older men use to connect with women. These aren't magic tricks, but ways to be your best self. We'll talk about things like having goals, being a good listener, and taking care of yourself. So ditch the negativity and get ready to learn how to impress with confidence, no matter your age. 1. Consent and Respect Consent and respect are like the most important rules in any kind of relationship, whether it's a friendship, a romantic relationship, or anything else. Consent means that everyone involved agrees to what's happening. Nobody should do something to someone else if they don't want it. It's about making sure everyone feels comfortable and safe. Respect means treating others kindly and listening to their feelings and boundaries. Manipulating someone, which means trying to control or trick them into doing things they don't want to do, is wrong. It's like playing a game where one person cheats to win. It's not fair, and it hurts the other person. Manipulative tactics can hurt people emotionally and make them feel bad about themselves. In relationships, it's important to always be honest and caring and to make sure everyone feels valued and heard. When people respect each other's feelings and boundaries, they build trust and create healthy connections. So, it's really important to always prioritize consent and respect in any kind of relationship. 2. Individuality Everyone is different, like a special puzzle piece that fits perfectly in its own way. That's what individuality means. It's like how no two snowflakes are exactly alike. In relationships, it's super important to remember that everyone has their own likes, dislikes and quirks. Trying to be someone you're not just to fit in or make someone like you isn't a good idea. It's like wearing clothes that don't really fit, uncomfortable and not true to yourself. Instead, it's better to be proud of who you are. Embrace your personality, hobbies and beliefs. It's like showing off your favorite colors or sharing your favorite story. When you're genuine and true to yourself, you attract people who like you for who you really are. That's the magic of individuality. It makes the world more interesting and brings people together in unique ways. So, always be yourself and celebrate what makes you special. 3. Communication Communication is like the secret ingredient in a recipe for a happy relationship. It's all about talking openly and honestly with each other. Imagine you're sharing your favorite story with a friend. That's how communication should feel. Being open means sharing your thoughts, feelings and concerns without holding back. It's like unlocking a treasure chest of feelings and letting them out into the open air. Honesty is like being truthful and not hiding anything. It's like playing a game without cheating. Everyone knows what's going on and trusts each other. Trying to control or trick someone's feelings, on the other hand, is like playing a sneaky trick that nobody enjoys. Instead of trying to manipulate or control, it's better to focus on understanding each other. That means listening carefully to what the other person is saying and trying to see things from their perspective. When both people communicate openly and honestly, they build a strong bond based on trust and respect. So remember, communication is key to keeping a relationship happy and healthy. 4. Equality Equality means treating everyone fairly and with respect, like how you'd want to be treated yourself. In relationships, it's super important that both people feel equal and valued. Imagine you're playing a game where everyone has the same chance to win. That's what equality is like. It means not judging someone based on things like their age or gender. Everyone deserves to be treated with kindness and respect, no matter who they are. Stereotypes are like labels that people put on each other. 
but they're not always true. It's important not to believe or spread stereotypes because they can hurt people's feelings and make them feel less important. Power imbalances happen when one person has more control or influence than the other. In a healthy relationship, decisions should be made together and both people should have a say. When everyone feels equal and respected, it creates a strong and happy connection. So always remember to treat others with fairness and kindness and avoid judging them based on stereotypes. 5. Self-Reflection Self-reflection is like looking in a mirror at yourself, but instead of seeing your appearance, you're looking at your thoughts and actions. In relationships, it's important to take a step back and think about how you're treating the other person. Are you being kind and understanding towards them? Are you trying to understand their feelings and perspective? Or are you only focused on what you want and not considering their needs? It's like asking yourself if you're sharing the toys in the sandbox or just keeping them all for yourself. Genuine connection is like making a true friend. You care about each other and enjoy spending time together. But if you're only thinking about what you can get from the relationship without caring about the other person's feelings, it's like playing a game where you always want to win without thinking about how it makes the other person feel. So, take a moment to reflect on your intentions and behaviours in relationships. Are you building genuine connections based on kindness and empathy, or are you just looking out for yourself? 6. Boundaries Boundaries are like invisible lines that show where you feel comfortable and safe. In relationships, it's really important to respect these boundaries. This means paying attention to both what someone says and what they don't say. Verbal cues are the things people say out loud, like when they tell you they don't like something. Nonverbal cues are the things they don't say, like if they seem uncomfortable or pull away when you try to hug them. It's like noticing if someone doesn't want to play a game and deciding not to play it with them. Respecting boundaries is all about making sure the other person feels comfortable and in control. It's like giving them space to be themselves without pushing them to do things they don't want to do. Prioritizing their comfort and well-being means putting their feelings and needs first. When both people respect each other's boundaries, it helps build trust and makes the relationship stronger. So, always pay attention to verbal and non-verbal cues and make sure to respect your partner's boundaries. 7. Continuous learning Continuous learning in relationships is like growing a plant. It needs care and attention to flourish. Just like how plants need water and sunlight, relationships need effort and understanding to thrive. As time goes on, relationships change and evolve. What worked in the beginning might not work later on, so it's important to keep learning and growing together. This means being open to feedback from your partner, listening to what they have to say and considering how you can improve. It's like if someone tells you they prefer flowers over chocolates, you might remember that for next time. Being willing to adapt means being flexible and willing to change if something isn't working. It's like trying out different ways to water your plant until you find the best method. Nurturing a healthy connection means taking care of each other's feelings and needs. It's like watering the plant regularly to keep it healthy and strong. When both people in a relationship are committed to continuous learning and growth, it helps strengthen the bond and keeps the love alive. So, remember to keep learning and growing together, just like a plant needs care to thrive. In conclusion, building and maintaining healthy relationships requires a combination of essential elements. Prioritizing consent and respect ensures that interactions are founded on mutual understanding and consideration. Embracing individuality encourages authenticity and fosters genuine connections based on shared values. Effective communication forms the cornerstone of any relationship, promoting openness, honesty and understanding. Upholding equality helps prevent stereotypes and power imbalances, fostering a sense of fairness and mutual respect. 
Self-reflection encourages introspection and empathy, leading to meaningful interactions and genuine connections. Respecting boundaries acknowledges and honors personal space and autonomy, contributing to a sense of safety and trust. Continuous learning and adaptation ensure that relationships evolve and grow over time, nurturing a healthy and fulfilling connection. By embracing these principles, individuals can cultivate strong, resilient and fulfilling relationships that enrich their lives and the lives of those around them. 7. 